A bill for an act to scrap the National Youth Service Corps, NYSC, which was introduced in the House of Representatives, have uh, elicited uh, response. Sponsor of the bill, Awaji Nimbek Abiante, is seeking to repeal Section 315, Subsection 5A of the 1999 Constitution and the National Youth Service Corps Act. Plus TV Africa's uh, correspondent, Jacinta Obuku, has more. Many fresh graduates earnestly desire to wear the National Youth Service Corps NYSC uniform. It is usually an honor to wear the khaki, serve one's father learned then, and the Corps members truly served with sincerity and honor. Well, that seems to be in the good old days in the 70s, 80s, 90s, and even early 2000s. Now, the usefulness of the NYSC scheme has been called to question. According to the synopsis of the bill introduced by member in the House of Representatives, Awaji Inebenka Biante, who pointed out that incessant killing of innocent core members in some parts of the country due to banditry, religious extremism, ethnic violence, incessant kidnapping of innocent core members across the country justify the intent of the bill. Today, what do we have? Even with the challenges of ASU strike and all of it, some students spend as much as eight to nine years before they graduate, no fault of theirs. And when they graduate, it is no longer automatic that you just walk in and go and serve. In some cases, people are kept on the queue for two to three years. You sum all of this up. By the time you are done with your studies, by the time you are done with the youth service, you are well over 25, 28 years. And most establishments, most establishments will have it as a policy that you don't employ persons beyond certain age limits. There, there are challenges with this scheme. There are challenges with this scheme. So whatever way, whichever way it goes, it's going to be a win-win for everybody. But my stand is, let us scrap it. A public analyst also gave his take on the bill. Is the answer scrapping it? Or you look for a way to redefine the use of the scheme. Now, if areas are challenged with respect to, you know, insecurity, then what do you do? Such areas, it does not mean insecurity will be there for forever. So you can, you can, in the interim, alter the dynamics or the operational dynamics, I would say, of the scheme. Because a lot of youth coppers have gone to other parts of the country and never went back. They got married there, they stayed there. And those are the things that have helped us to integrate as a nation. I don't think that the, the, the scheme should be scrapped. There are many things not working with it. Don't go the lazy way out. Sit down, interrogate the process, and come up with a workable you know, solution to it. Here is also some mixed reactions by some Nigerians across the streets of Lagos. I'm about in mind like next month or so, so I don't see any reason why any Nigerian should not be given the chance to serve their country. Scrapping NYC still doesn't solve the problem of insecurity, right? Letting it continue still doesn't stop the problem. The fact that you go to NYC doesn't guarantee you that you're going to have a very good job. So this also affords those going for the NYC to choose a better handwork to do. You cannot afford to finish sending your child to this school with all the suffering and all these things. They will come there to tell you that uh, headsmen, whatever, Boko Haram, has come to eliminate their own children, not our own children anyway. NYSC scheme was set up in 1973 by the Yakubu Gowon administration as part of strategies to foster unity in the post-Civil War era. Jacinta Ubuku for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.